All right, take three. All right, guys, so I'm doing my uh, homework presentation thing on soft ether VPN clients and client gate. So you go to this website, uh, you click on the first link. Uh, I'll put it's, uh, this is on the spreadsheet for the class that we've all uploaded. You click on this, it'll download a um, folder. You extract the folder. I just put everything on my desktop for now. I'll probably delete it after. And then you open up uh, you open a VPN and after you open up VPN what you want to do is you want to click on VPN gate public VPN relay servers now before I go any further I'll come back to this website the reason I'm doing this is because there are certain websites or YouTube videos or programs that are usually let's say video games that are region locked and the only way to get through these region locks is to actually seem like you're actually logging in from that area or that region. And one way to do this is VPNs. However, um, there's also a downside to this, which uh, I experienced while trying to make this video good and presentable, is that sometimes uh, certain VPNs are really slow, especially if there are a lot of people using that same VPN. Um, so why would I want to use a VPN? So for example, example I have for you guys, this is the BBC, which you guys, as you know, is a, is very, um, you know, popular. It's one of the biggest, uh, TV channels or broadcasting channels, whatever it's called, uh, in the UK. And let's say I want to watch something from it. Let's say I click on iPlayer player two, watch live. When I click watch live, it says BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. So this is where our VPN comes in. Um, you can add a VPN connection manually that involves doing some research, uh, you know, stuff, but what I like to do is I just like to click VPN gate, public VPN relay servers, click on region, uh, just click on the region tab to, uh, you know, have it set alphabetically and whether you want to start from A to V, start from V since we're doing UK, you know, it's obviously a lot closer. The one that ended up working is this one right here. Um, it also, this program also tells you the IP address of the, you know, the host name, the region, uptime, VPN sessions, how many, you know, uh, if it has UTP support, how many, you know, users total uh, use it. The one I'm gonna end up using has had uh, 1700 logins. So when you click on this, uh, you'll get this little warning that if you're in a country where VPNs are prohibited, You know, don't use it so you don't get in trouble. Click agree. Uh, I prefer using TCP protocol. It's also the recommended one for the client. So you do that. So it does this. It gives you a IP address, as you guys saw. I couldn't. And usually your computer will pop like a if you're on Windows 10 at least. It'll. It's it usually pops a little thing on the side link bar. However, since this is probably my third take and I've already used this VPN once to make sure everything works properly, it's probably not going to pop up. So as you can see, we were right here, and it was not letting us play. Let's see if it'll let us, when we refresh the page, see if it'll let us view it now. No, oh, you're kind of joking me right now. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to let me work, because I was... I had everything set up earlier. Oh, is that slow VPN speed I was referring to? I might just have to do a different video. Connected. see let the web page load like I said it's a little slow there we go channel 2 okay watch live okay there we go now it's working perfect see now this and then from this part on um, I actually have it already kind of set up over here so you have to register with the BBC 
and obviously I still don't know if it's going to work, but this is still progress because I, I couldn't even get this far without the VPN. I'm just using my um, email, uh, you know, my school email, password. Now this part, the postcode, this requires a little bit of research because you can't just obviously put some United States zip code. So I had to look up some, you know, postal code in London and I found one that said, you know, WC2N5DU. Uh, and obviously it checked out. It gives me a little green check mark. You know. Uh, do you want email updates? We'll say no thanks. And let's register. Let's see what comes up. Of course, I still don't know if this is going to completely work. But this is further than I've gotten before. Okay. Now that we are signed in. Let's click continue. This is the part where I cross my fingers. My homework gets a good grade. <laughs> okay, so we're spinning. Doesn't seem to be going Okay, away. see? Oh. Now we can watch something. Oh, yeah. That sugar, and, all right. Uh, you even could, obviously, I couldn't even get this far without the VPN. Different foods. And trust me, I tried multiple UK VPNs that you saw here. On, um, here, let me lower the volume Artificial sweeteners are found in quite a wide variety of products in the UK, so we do tend to find them... Um... So before I actually use this one, this is probably my third or second VPN attempt, and I couldn't even get this far without the help of VPN. And um, nice. Uh, uh, anyways, um, yeah. So this is a big step. So like I said, VPNs are very nice for getting rid of region locks or anything else you want to use. However, like as you notice, there are some problems that it makes the thing slow. There are um, some countries it's not legal to use them. I, I don't even know if this is legal, but obviously, what are they going to do? Extradite me all the way to England? Um, and this is one website. I don't know if it'll work with other websites. I really don't want to register again. Um, but yeah, like I said, using this, not you know. Obviously, you have to have a VPN, but you also need to do a little bit of research on your own. In this case, I had to look up a London postcode. And when I say research, I do it in quotes, but it's really, it took maybe five seconds to type in Google, London postcodes, etc. Um, now, I, you know, one thing I always wondered is if it actually, you know, obviously I could use a change, but it changes whatever, something to use the BBC. But let's see if it actually... Um, changes your IP address. That is my IP address. Now, if I remember, the thing say gave something like, uh, so as you can see, it's my I, Google shows up my IP address is the same as my, um, as my VPN that I'm currently using. And if you even look, when I typed, you know, when I type something to Google, if you look at the top, it sh puts me directly in google.co.uk because it thinks I'm in the United Kingdom. Um, now, what can this be used for other than, you know, getting region lock? Um, if you want to mask your IP when obviously accessing websites, you know, for whatever purposes that I'm not going to get into, it could be used into that. If you want to hide your IP, if you want to show a false IP while accessing a website, you know, because mo obviously traffic is always logged between websites. So, you know, this is this is something to keep in mind. Well, let's see what else do I need to talk about. Well, yeah, like I said, the difficulty I faced is um, the slow speed because of VPNs. Um, doing a little bit of research, obviously I needed to find out London postcode. What did I learn? Um... I learned that region lock really sucks. No, um, you know, I learned actually how to. I've never actually had to do this. This is my first time actually using it to watch the BBC, and obviously now I know how to do it. Now I know how to you know actually use it. The only time I ever used it was uh, I wanted to download a some sort of like region locked, uh, some sort of Japanese video game, and that's the only time I used it. And you know, and I haven't used it since then, which is long, long eons ago. So yeah, this is how you use a VPN. Uh, the soft 
Weather VPN client, and uh, if you want to download it, it's the assignment link is still up. It should be in the um, next to my name, the download link for the VPN. Um, like I said, there are many regions you could use for the VPN, uh, all starting all the way from Argentina, you know, Venezuela, Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, Germany, France, Egypt. I tried to find a YouTube video where it's specifically region locked to um, uh, Germany. But I kind of find one on Google. My research has failed me down. But yeah, this is Soft Weather EPN client. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you use it in your endeavors.